Since the 2022 exercise, now we're in 2023, several things have been developed. One is brand new is this SiceNet operational information hub. It's an Esri platform. Last year, they tried an executive dashboard. It was very complex, very complicated, and they, they scrapped that and went to something much simpler. But it answers the mail for creating a single place that aggregates crowdsourced information, declarations, waivers, SIP reps, power outages, facility status, traffic and road disruptions from across 10 sectors in multiple states. Amazing. So there's now a place that houses not just declarations and waivers, but all of the other operational updates in real time as they're reported by a trusted community. That's that's the key. The second thing talks about a trusted app. Well, we tried several sources and we ended up using a very simple Esri tool. Using the tool, they can update the uh, SiceNet hub in under 30 seconds, right? It's pretty fast. And with 20, 30 people doing it, you get a lot of information very quickly and it's there. It's searchable, it's permanent, uh, and it's housed there. So you get it real time, you can follow it, you can sort in a number of categories. Give me the last 24 hours, give me the last you know, 72 hours, uh, do a keyword search for declarations, only the declarations come up for a disruption in infrastructure, all those come up. This all came out of the 2022 exercise. Third was develop this operational contacts directory. There's a big requirement to support planning and response efforts. It's managed by the private sector. Currently there's 300 plus opt-ins in there. It's searchable by state, by tags, yeah, it's very, very effective. And it's it's an opt-in, right? The only people that are in there are the people that wanted to be in there. And it's really designed for operational use. And then lastly, there's an ongoing Esri Teams integration initiative. Why is that? Well, Esri is really good for visualizing data. And Teams is really good for secure collaboration. And we, through our partner, Ben Air uh, Solutions, we found a way to integrate those two. So we formed a couple work groups develop means workflows templates and we've tested it it works really well we're going to be testing it with a few people during the 2023 hurricane season probably going operational in 2024 fully but why is that important well that gives us a secure environment within SiceNet so that we can share information securely but more importantly now we can use the collaboration tools of teams that will allow us to have larger more secure chat groups. We can segregate people by channels. We can use uh, various forms of texting and chat within Teams. It links into a lot of other systems. So uh, that's been a big initiative. We're testing it again, like I said, in 2023 this year and probably go operational in 2024. So all of these are direct results of the operational exercise we had last year. You'll be seeing some of them this year and we'll definitely be using them during the hurricane season.